James Webb Telescope will capture shocking first images of the Big Bang. With the growth in technology, we have evolved and learned about different mysteries about the universe. Still, one of the biggest mysteries is the origin of the universe itself by the Big Bang Theory. What exactly happened? Is the theory correct? What did it look like? To find the answer to these questions, NASA has made a brilliant innovation of the James Webb Telescope, which is said to look far into the space where we will be capturing images from the earliest moments of the Big Bang. The innovation of the JWST is an exceptional achievement in itself, since we've never made a telescope even close to the caliber of this one. Yet a lot of money is poured in by NASA, and now it's time for the telescope to prove its magic. After the successful launch of the JWST and its extraordinary capabilities, the telescope will be capturing some shocking first images of the Big Bang. Isn't that amazing? Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel, where today we'll be telling you all about the first images of the JWST and what it's said to capture. With the reveal of the first pictures of the Big Bang, many unanswered and long buried questions will come forth. How many questions do these pictures in the telescope manage to answer, or will it give rise to more theories and questions? If you are intrigued to find out, make sure you watch the video until the end and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. So how powerful is the JWST? How will this give us our best bet in finding the universe's origins? NASA has put a humongous amount of time and money into this project. After nearly 20 years of hard work, in $9.7 billion, the telescope is finally in space. It can look back 100 to 200 million years back in time. This will help us find the origins of the universe and the first moments of the Big Bang and more information about how stars are formed and what makes all cosmic entities work. Before knowing how the telescope will enable us to know more about the Big Bang and the universe's origins, it is essential to know why this information is so essential to find out. This information holds the utmost importance in knowing the birth of the universe. Because the Big Bang is the place from where it all started, to understand the future, it is critical to first know the past. And it is only after this we will make our life easier at knowing the future by understanding how it all started. Understanding the Big Bang will answer our understanding of space, science, and life studies. So, before knowing how the scientists make it possible to look back in time, we need to understand that the more distant the galaxy, the longer it takes for light to reach us, and thus, go further back in time. So how far have we seen as of now? The most distant galaxy observed by now is the GNZ-11, which was spotted by the Hubble telescope and gave NASA a great view of it long back. Some scientists say that the GNZ-11 looks nothing more than a red blob in the cosmos. Scientists with their great technological gadgets can see approximately 13.4 billion years back in time, about 300 to 400 years after the Big Bang. And now we need to go back in time. How will the JWST look back in time? We are staring back in time as we get further away from an object. This is due to the time it takes for light to travel from an object to us. Because of JWST's wider mirror, we will be able to view almost back to the Big Bang roughly 13.7 billion years ago. Its ability to see the universe in infrared light with greater wavelengths, it will be able to see some of the furthest galaxies in our universe with far greater ease than Hubble's visible ultraviolet light vision. This is due to the expansion of our universe stretching out the light from distant objects, an effect known as redshift, which pushes the light out of the visible spectrum and into the infrared. When telescopes see the light from distant galaxies, they are not looking back in time. Because past no longer exists, no one can look at it directly. Instead, the telescopes are focused on the current pattern of a light beam. For millions of years, the light beam of light has been undisturbed as it travels across the mostly empty vacuum of space. As a result, the current pattern of this beam of light is identical to the pattern it had when it was first formed millions of years ago by a faraway galaxy. We can determine what the galaxy that created the light looked like millions of years ago by looking at the current state of a beam of light. What characteristic of the telescope makes it capable of viewing objects long back in time? By gazing at the universe at infrared wavelengths, Webb will show us things that no other telescope has ever seen. We can only see the first stars and galaxies emerging after the Big Bang at infrared wavelengths. We can view stars and planetary systems emerging inside clouds of dust that are opaque to visible light using infrared light. Webb's principal objectives are to investigate the development of galaxies, stars, and planets in the universe. Since it takes light time to travel from there to here, we must stare deep into space to look back in time 
to see the very earliest stars and galaxies that formed in the early universe. The farther out we go, the further back in time we look. Because the universe is expanding, objects are moving away from us as quickly as we look farther away, redshifting the light. For very high redshifts, the light released as ultraviolet or visible light is moved more and more to redder wavelengths into the electromagnetic spectrum's near and mid-infrared region. As a result, to investigate the earliest star and galaxy formation in the cosmos, we must detect infrared light using a telescope and its tools. So when can we expect the first images from the James Webb Telescope? After the successful launch of the JWST, the telescope's four science instruments will now be the focus of the control staff. The first scientific photographs are likely to be released in June or July. Will James Webb Telescope see before the Big Bang? By gazing at the universe at infrared wavelengths, Webb will show us things that no other telescope has ever seen. We can only see the first stars and galaxies emerging after the Big Bang at infrared wavelengths. What will JWST's first image be? On Friday, February 11th, the team behind NASA's James Webb Space Telescope published some of the first photographs from the much-anticipated telescope. The main image, which displays a star named HD 84406 and is simply a fraction of a mosaic captured over 25 hours beginning on February 2nd, during the ongoing effort to align the observatory's segmented mirror, doesn't even hint at the power Webb will bring to the universe once it's fully operational. The entire Webb team is ecstatic at how successful first step of acquiring photographs and aligning the telescope are moving," said Marsha Reiki, principal investigator of the device that Webb relies on for the alignment procedure, and an astronomer at the University of Arizona in a NASA release. Scientists are spending the majority of their remaining time waking up and calibrating the observatory's instruments and making minute modifications to the telescope's 18 golden mirror segments, which are required for crisp, clear photographs of the deep universe. The first photographs will be ugly. Web Operations Project scientist Jane Rigby remarked at a press briefing on January 8th as the telescope began the process of unstowing its mirrors. It'll be a little hazy. We'll have 18 of these small images scattered over the sky. The image shows numerous views of HD 84406, the star that JWST scientists recently revealed they had chosen to study first. HD 84406, a sun-like star roughly 260 light-years away, will be Webb's first sighting, officials from NASA said. The James Webb Telescope will be looking for in-time habitable zones of distant stars, looking for regions that could contain the roots of life. It will study the Earth-like worlds to get a better idea of how life happened and understand the true essence of life, miracle of existence. After understanding the capabilities of the James Webb Telescope, it is considered one of the most significant projects and accomplishments of NASA for decades now. There's still some time till we get the first images of the Big Bang, which will completely change our perspective about the universe, or will instead prove some of our theories true. So to find out more such interesting facts about the universe and the accomplishments of the JWST, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Drop your views and share it. Thanks for watching.